Assalamu alaikum. I'm your host GKLT. I hope you all people will be fine and shine. So today the topic that I have brought to teach you is what is now and its types. So let's start it. First of all, we would know what is noun. So noun is the name of person, place, thing, area, and animal. I would give you a simple example. Say you should uh, look around. You wouldn't find anything that doesn't have name. All the things that exist in the world having name. So here then they have divided them into categories. Up dunya mein dekhe aapko aisa koi bhi cheez nahi milega jiska naam na ho. So yahan par inko category mein divide kiya gaya hai. So in person simply we would be talking about human like Imran Khan, Donald Trump, Catherine and there are a lot of examples. The second one is place and place like our text start from my one is Peshawar, Pakistan, India, America, London. The third one that we have is a uh, thing uh, like mobile, computer, laptop, chair. Uh, there are many things you can think. I have given you some examples then you can create from yourself. And then we have idea and the most important and noun that most of the students and most of the people get confused while they listen about idea because they do not have idea that what is noun uh, sorry what is idea so basically uh, idea refers to those feelings those emotions that cannot be touched cannot be uh, seen and cannot be tested like we can only feel those things we can have emotions of those things like for example i would give you some example happiness bravery friendship we can only think of them we cannot touch them we cannot test them we cannot hear them so this is idea at uh, the next there is animal so i think that is so simple uh, and as as easy as abc for example kate dog uh, buffalo and there are a lot of examples that you can write with there then we would go for types of nouns so let's start it the first type of noun that we have that is common noun a common noun is a noun that refers to people or things in general. For example, boy, country, bridge, city, birth, day, happiness. Common noun generally may uh, things ko insano ko chizo ko refer karta hai. Uh, just tarah ki yahan par maine examples diye hue hain boy country bridge city birth day happiness so is tarah ke examples common noun mein aate hain uh, dusra type jo hamare saath hai the second one that we have is proper noun a proper noun is a name that identifies a particular person place or thing example given here uh, steven africa london monday uh, Imran Khan, Donald Trump, like those all come in the category of proper noun. Proper noun kya hai? Jo ke hum ek khas cheez ko, ek khas bande ko, uh, khas bande, uh, matlab naam to sare ke khas hote hain, uh, ya kisi jaga ko, ya kisi cheez ko, uh, ke baare mein baat karte hai, to usse hum proper noun kehte hain. Proper noun hamesha uh, capital letter se start hota hai, जो कैपिटल सॉरी जो प्रॉपर वर्ड है ना उनका पहला लेटर हमेशा कैपिटल होगा व्हेन एवर वी वांट टू राइट द प्रॉपर नाउन सो द प्रॉपर नाउन फर्स्ट लेटर मस्ट बी कैपिटल एफ द वर्ड कम्स इन द मिडिल ऑफ द सेंटेंस एफ दैट कम्स एट द स्टार्टिंग ऑफ द सेंटेंस और एट द एंड बट इट शुड बी रिटन विद अ कैपिटल लेटर सो द थर्ड वन दैट वी हैव दैट इज कंक्रीट नाउन व्हाट इज कंक्रीट नाउन 
A concrete noun is a noun which refers to people and to things that exist physically and can be seen, touched, smell, heard, or tested. Example include a dog, building, coffee, tree, rain, beach, tune, mobile, laptop. Concrete noun is a noun where this refer to which physically exist. जैसे हम छू सकते हैं जैसे हम स्मेल कर सकते हैं जैसे हम सुन सकते हैं जैसे हम टेस्ट कर सकते हैं जिस तरह की यहां पर मैंने कुछ एग्जांपल दिए हुए हैं लाइक डॉग बिल्डिंग कॉफी ट्री रेन बीच ट्यून सो इसमें एक तो जरूर होगा जिसे हम कहे टच या सीन या हर्ड सो इनमें जरूर होगा तो इस तरह नाउन को हम कंक्रीट नाउन कहते हैं हमारे साथ द नेक्स्ट दैट वी हैव दैट इज एब्स्ट्रैक्ट नाउन An abstract noun is a noun which refers to ideas, qualities, and condition. Uh, things that cannot be seen or touched and things which have no physical reality. Truth, danger, happiness, time, friendship, humor. And uh, I would tell you other things like bravery, friendship. Friendship is already given here. So to this kind of noun we call abstract noun. Abstract noun. Uh, किस तरह का नाउन होता है जहां पर सिर्फ आइडियाज क्वालिटीज और कंडीशन को रखा जाता है जिसे ये उलट होगा किस चीज का कंक्रीट नाउन का कंक्रीट नाउन का ये अपोजिट होगा वहां पर हम देख सकते हैं यहां पर देख नहीं सकते छू नहीं सकते स्मेल नहीं कर सकते सुन नहीं सकते सो सिंपली एंड अ सिंपल वर्ड्स वी से दैट इट इज अपोजिट ऑफ कंक्रीट नाउन Okay, the next one that we have is is a collective noun. Collective nouns refers to, uh, to groups of people or things. For example, audience, family, government, team, jury. In American English, most collective nouns are treated as singular with a singular word. The whole family was at the table. So here, the helping word that I have used was and if you want to use it in a present so it should be is and the british english the pro, uh, preceding sentence would be correct but it would also be correct to treat the collective noun as a plural or with a plural verb the whole family were at the table so the main difference between these two uh, and british english you can use plural as well and uh, american you can only use singular like I would uh, simply say the government, uh, our government is uh, making rules regulation. So it, it, it should be like, it should be considered American. But if we come to the British one, so I mean there you can use the plural form of the helping verb as well. So I hope you would have got the idea of collective noun. Collective noun is a noun which is a word, but that word हम ग्रुप्स को ग्रुप्स ऑफ पीपल को थिंग्स को रेफर करते हैं जो कि एक वर्ड होता है और बहुत से लोगों को बहुत से चीजों को वो रिप्रेजेंट करता है जिस तरह हम कहे फैमिली तो फैमिली में बहुत से मेंबर्स होते हैं बहुत से लोग होते हैं या गवर्नमेंट में या टीम में टीम में एक बंदा तो नहीं होता ना टीम में बहुत ज्यादा ज्यादा लोग होते हैं तो इसी तरह के जो नाउन से इन्हें हम कलेक्टिव टर्म कहते हैं अब यहां पर हमारे साथ एक डिफरेंस आता है कि जो अमेरिकन इंग्लिश है वो कलेक्टिव नाउन को एज अ सिंगुलर ट्रीट करते हैं और जिस तरह वहां पर एक एग्जांपल मैंने दिया हुआ है द होल फैमिली वाज एट द टेबल सो यहां पर वाज जो है ना ये एज अ सिंगुलर मैंने ये कलेक्टिव नाउन है तो इनको बतौर सिंगुलर मैंने यहां पर रखा हुआ है और किस तरह हमको इसका अंदाजा होता है जिस तरह के मैंने यहां पर वास लगाया हुआ है इन ब्रिटिश में क्या होता है कि वो प्लूरल पे भी फॉलो होते हैं जिस तरह के एग्जांपल दिया हुआ है यहां पर मैंने द होल फैमिली वर इन द टेबल सो इन द अबव सेंटेंस आई हैज टॉक अबाउट सॉरी आई हैव टॉक अबाउट द सिंगुलर एंड द नेक्स्ट वन एंड द ब्रिटिश वन आई हैव टॉक अबाउट व द प्लूरल सो आई होप यू वुड हैव गॉट द आईडिया अबाउट कलेक्टिव नाउंस सो द नेक्स्ट वन दैट वी हैव इज countable noun countable noun that nouns that can be counted are called countable nouns countable nouns can take article a and the example chair table 
bait, bowl. So these all nouns are uh, countable. The thing simply we can count. Like mobile we can count, the laptop we can count. So these all are called uh, countable noun. The next one that we have is uncountable. Uncountable nouns are those nouns uh, which do not typically refer to things that can be counted and so they do not regularly have a plural form. The nouns that cannot be counted are called non-countable nouns. Example water, sugar, oil, salt, etc. You cannot say one water, two water, three water because water is not countable. So it's simply uh, followed by singular form of verb or those things. Uncountable nouns, kis tarah ka noun hota hai? Jaha par hum baat karte hai, uh, un noun ki jo ke unka shumar nahi hota. Jis tarah hum uh, ek example lete hai, milk. Uh, milk ka to hum countable uh, count nahi kar sakte. Water, water ka hum count kar sakte hai, nahi shumar nahi kar sakte hai. Hum yeh nahi kar sakte hai, ke ek paani, do paani, teen paani. So isi tarah nouns ko hum kya kehte hai? Uh, uncountable or non-countable.